Hello, Marco Antonio. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you tonight, Marco? I'm fine. Thanks, and you? I'm excellent. Thanks for asking me. How was your day today? Was good. Today was my final test from the second semester. From... Great. How was your score? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you still don't know that. Okay. I... Good luck, right? I hope that you got a 10. Thanks. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Moises. David. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Are you Ileana? Ileana Rebecca? No, Sonia Rebecca. Oh, Sonia. <laughs> okay, the voice is similar. I'm sorry. Uh, David, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, finally, it's Thursday and tomorrow is Friday and tomorrow we don't have classes, right? Just today. So, Jotael, welcome to the class. Jessica. Good evening, teacher. How are Hello, you? Hello, Claudia. Good evening. Okay, it's nice to see you tonight, guys. So, let's start with the class. So, we are going to start the last section of the platform tonight. Uh, what is the name of the last section? Do you remember? Los que ya terminaron la sección 5, o aún no la comienzan. Ya la terminé. Ah, oh, ya have already finished. ¿Y ya sí. pudo ver su diploma? Ah, o le falta el examen el ex final. No, ya, lo, ya hice el examen también, Ticho. Mm. Ok, ¿y ya puede ver su diploma, José? Mm, eso no sé dónde se veía. ¿Dónde se ve? Solo, solo terminé, lo terminé ahora, pero no sé. Ah, ok. So, hay una pestaña que dice Progress o progreso de la click y le va a aparecer una un gráfico you're going to see a graph there and ah, sí. above the graph you can see the option arriba del gráfico tiene la opción parece un botoncito azul ok teacher okay, progreso. ok do you have any question about the exercises there on the platform tengo que solicitarlo dice Click, click on that. Okay. Persifica. Sí, ya, ya me parece. Okay, great. Congratulations, Josael. Thank oh, you, you. I think that you are the first one. Alguien más ya puede ver su certificado o solo Josael. Okay, good, Josael. Just you, you are the first one in this course. Congratulations. So let's start with this. Today we're going to talk about family. Who do you live with? Con quien viven? Who do you live with? With my parents. You live with your parents? Mm -hmm. David? Who do you live with? I live with my uncle. Great. Uh, Moises, who do you live with? Okay, Moises is busy. So today we're going to talk about family. Tell me about your family. That is the topic for tonight. So let's go with this. What did I share this? I'm so sorry. My name is Tay here. Okay, now this is the correct. Tell me about your family. Welcome to the class number 12. Let's go with this. In this lesson, participants will be able to talk about their family. You are going to share with the class the information about your family tonight. So let's start with this. Uh, ¿Cómo le llamamos a esto? Arbol familiar. Okay, excellent. In English, the same way. The family, family tree. So take a look at this. Sam's family tree. How are these people related to him? And these were the family. 
who is this family tree? ¿De quién es este árbol familiar? ¿La familia de quién? Sams. Ok, Sams. Sams. Ok, excelente. So, Andy en Marta, grandfather en. Which word do I need? Complete that part. Housing, father, grandmother, niece, sister in love, uncle, or wife? Grandmother. Grandmother. And then I have Chris and Sara. And mother, it says. So, which word I need to complete that, that part? Father. Father, I guess. Then we have I on M. Uncle. 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 Stan, husband, and his wife. Wife. Okay. Brother and sister, sister in law. Mm. Brother and sister. Or sister in law. Sister in law. Okay. Sister in law. And Teresa is cousin. Cousin, Sam, Cousin, and then I have Kelly and Jimmy, nephew and niece. Okay, good. So let's see another vocabulary about family. Let's start with this. Do you know all of these? Mother, father, parents, parents, wife, husband, son, daughter, children, brother, sister, sibling, cousin, and relative. Relative case, teacher. What is the meaning of relatives? Relative. Anyone? Sí, know the meaning? Anyone know the meaning of that word? Familiares? Yeah. Familiares, parientes. Ah, okay. Any other? No, new vocabulary there. Okay, who wants to try? Any volunteer to read them? Volunteer, one, two, three. No volunteer, then I'm gonna pick somebody. Let's see, Claudia, can you help me please? Reading this vocabulary. Okay. Uh, lo digo todo, entonces. Yeah, please. Okay. Mother, father, parents, wife, Husband, son, daughter, children, brother, sister, uh, siblings, cousins, and relatives. Thank you so much. Josael, do you have a question or do you want to participate? Okay. Mother, father, parents, wife, husband, son, daughter, children, brother, sister, Sibling, housing, relative. Thank you so much, Jose. Then I have David. Would you like to try, David? Yes, teacher. Do it then. Mother, father, parents, wife, husband, son, daughter, children, brother, sister, siblings, cousins, and relatives. Okay, thank you. How, how do you pronounce this, guys? Let me see. This word, how do you pronounce this word? Husband. 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 And this other one? Daughter. 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 Thank you. Daughter. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see the next. I have this other set of vocabulary here. Aunt, uncle, nephew, niece, grand. Parent, grandmother, grandfather, grandson, granddaughter, grandchildren, spouse. <laughs> Is it a new vocabulary there? David, do you have a question or do you want to read them? Yeah. Teacher, yes, I have a question. What is the mm -hmm. meaning of the last one? The last one? House. Yes. Okay. Um, espos puede ser esposo o esposa. Uh, okay. Any new vocabulary there? 
Who wants to try read then then? Marco, thank you, Marco. Okay. Aunt, uncle, nephew, niece, grandparents, grandmother, grandfather, grandson, granddaughter, grandchildren, spouse. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Marco. Write your name here, Marco. Excellent. And oh, David is missing here. Excellent job. Thank you so much. And this is the last one. Let me see this vocabulary. Step mother, step father, step son, step daughter, step sister, step brother, half sister, half brother, sister in law, brother in law, father in law, mother in law. Any new vocabulary in this? Step mother, what is the meaning of that? Madrastra. Okay, yes. Then step father. Padrastro, step son. Hijastro. Okay, and step daughter, hijastra. Step sister. Hermanastro. Hermanastro. And how sister? Medio hermana. Medio hermana. And how brother? Medio hermana. Sister in law. What is the meaning of sister in law? Cuñada. Cuñada, brother-in-law, cuñado, father-in-law, suegro, and mother-in-law, suegro, suegra. Ok, ¿hay algún miembro de la familia que falte en este vocabulario? Grandchildren es nieto. Ya, yeah. nieto. La mascota. Ok, la mascota, the dog, the cat, so the right pet. Esposo es esposo. Eh, puede ser ambos. It could be the woman or the man in a relationship. House. Yes. Say the pet. Relatives, ¿qué es? Eh, familiares o parientes. Relatives. Um, let's see, pet. In this one, what about this one? Forma parte de la familia o no? And your best friend is part of your family or not? No. Yes. No. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then let's go with the next thing here. Thank you. Oh, I need a volunteer to read the last, the last part, the last set of vocabulary in this slide. So any volunteer? Thank you, Denise. Okay. Stepmother, stepfather, stepson, stepdaughter, stepsister, stepbrother, half sister, half brother, sister in law, brother in law, father in law, mother in law. Thank you so much. Then let's listen to Sonia Rebecca, please. Stepmother, stepfather, stepson, stepdaughter, stepsister, stepbrother, half sister, half brother, sister in law. Brother-in-law, father-in-law, and mother-in-law. Thank you so much. Excellent job. Let's go with the knees. Here we go. Okay, let's listen to this conversation asking about family. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well... My sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, pay attention to this phrase. Tell me about your brother and sister. Or tell me about your family. And just start saying information about their family. Well, my sister works for the government. What does she do? 
I'm not sure she's working on a very secret project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? No, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother, he's traveling the Amazon. Any new vocabulary in this small conversation? What is the meaning of wildlife? Vida salvaje. He's a wildlife photographer. Gracias. Okay. Any new word? Any new vocabulary here? Okay. Uh, ¿Qué información de sus hermanos da? Tú. ¿Qué información comparte con sus hermanos? Perdón, con Rita. Uh, wait, wait. Primero, ¿a qué se dedican? ¿Qué trabaja, ¿En qué trabajan? ¿Qué hacen? La, la hermana de su trabaja en el gobierno. Eh, trabaja en un proyecto secreto. Ok, excelente. Eh, su, hermano, su hermano trabaja como fotógrafo de la vida salvaje. Ok, perfecto. Eh, también menciona dónde están ellos. Bueno, por lo menos la hermana no se sabe dónde. Si es nada en el United States. ¿Y el hermano? En, en las Amazonas. Ok, he's traveling in Amazon. Good. I need to learn to, to practice in this conversation. But let's listen again and pay attention, please, to the pronunciation. Ok, Jonel, I have the first participant. And Dennis, but let's listen first. Escuchemos una vez más, please. And then we're going to practice. Listen and practice. Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no. My sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling in the Amazon. Okay, let's start, Jonel and Denise. Jonel, you're going to read Rita's part and Denise Sue's part. Okay. Tell me about your brothers and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? Does she do? do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Project right now. Wow, and what about your brother? He is a wildlife photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no, my sister, my sister away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He's traveling the Amazon. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. That's in this question. What does she do? What does she do? A que se dedica? David, do you want to practice or do you have a question? No, I would like to practice. Okay, thank you. I have David and who wants to practice with David? I need one volunteer to practice with David. Who wants? Thank you, Eli. Thank you so much. So let's listen, David and Eli. Uh, David, read that part. Iliana, who is part, please? Tell me about your brother and sister, Sue. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? I'm not sure. She's working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He's a wildlife phot photographer. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Uh, no, my sister's away. She's not working in the United States this month. And your brother? Traveling in the Amazon. 
Wow, that was a perfect job. Thank you so much. Then I have Esmeralda. Anyone want to practice with Esmeralda? Let's practice. David, share your hamburger. Esmeralda? Any volunteer to practice with Esmeralda? If no volunteers, I'm going to pick somebody. Okay, let's see who was the first one. Oscar, thank you so much, Oscar. So let's listen. Esmeralda and Oscar. Esmeralda. Rita's part. And Sue. Sue's part, Oscar, please. Okay. Tell me about your brother and sister, Zoe. Well, my sister works for the government. Oh, what does she do? And I am not sure. She is working on a very secret project right now. Wow. And what about your brother? He is with live photography. What an interesting family. Can I meet them? Oh no, my sister is a wife. She is not working in the United States this month. And your brother? He is traveling in the Amazon. Thank you so much. Alguna corrección, profe? <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, yes, this is work. Let me see. Let me show you. Let's try. Get my second. Okay, how do you pronounce this word? Government. Okay, excellent. Government. And this other one? Wild life. Wild, wild life. Wild life. Wild life. Wild life. Okay. And photography. And the name of this country? United States. United States. United, United States. States. Okay. The rest was perfect. Thank you so much, Esmeralda. And Oscar, let me write here your name. Thank you. Oscar and Esmeralda. Okay. Yeah. Then, see, let's continue. Okay, we are going to listen the rest of this conversation and we are going to answer these two questions. So let's listen. And then we are going to answer where do Rita's parents live and what do they do? These are the questions. Part B, listen to the rest of the conversation. Where do Rita's parents live? What do they do? So what about your parents, Rita? Where do they live? They live in Texas. Oh, where in Texas? In Austin. It's a small city, but it's very nice. Are they still working? Oh, yes. My mother is teaching at the university there, and my father is a carpenter. Okay. Where do Rita's parents live? Austin, Texas. Excellent. They live in Austin, Texas. What do they do? It's more She's a teacher. Teacher, and your father is a carpenter. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Okay. They live in Austin, Texas, and her mother is a teacher, and her father is a carpenter. Very good. Where do your parents live? This question is for you. Where do your parents live? You say they live in Santa Tecla, La Libertad. They live in Cuchitoto, Cuscatlán. They live in. Where do your parents they, live? They live in the Ciudad Delgado. Okay, Ciudad Delgado is San Salvador, yes? Yes, the north is San Salvador. Okay, good. So, where do your parents live, Marco? In San Marcos. 
they live in San Marcos, San Salvador. Hey. Yes. Dennis, where do your I, parents live? I live in San Marcos. Okay, you live in San. Do you nice. live with your parents? Do you live with your parents? No, no ah. they live in the Peque Santa Ana. Ah, um, okay. Dennis, what about your parents? Where do they live? My mom is living in the USA, so my father lives in Mexico. Okay, great. And Jessica, where do your parents live? I live in my mother. I live with my mother. Okay, excellent. Where do you live? Where do you live? I live in Cojutepec. Ileana, where do your parents live? Uh, they live in San Sebastián, Salitrio, Santa Ana. Great, thank you. Uh, Isabella, where do your parents live? Um, they, they live in El Salvador, in San Salvador. Okay, they live in San Salvador, El Salvador. Perfect. Nice. Now, next question, what do they do? What do your parents do? Any volunteer? David, what do your parents do? My mother is a teacher and my father is an engineer. Thank you so much. Uh, Rebecca, what do your parents do? Um, my mother is an, a dentist and my father works at the um, Corte Suprema de Justicia. Is he a lawyer or a judge? No. No. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you so much. In Janelle, where do your parents live? My parents live in San Salvador. Uh, what do they do? My mother is retired and my father is musician. Okay, thank you so much. Any volunteer to answer the question? One. My mother is housewife and my father is there. Please repeat, your father is? Is deaf. Oh, okay. Sorry to hear that. Sorry. Yeah. Ya, ya mucho tiempo, cuando yo tenía como seis años. Ah, okay. Ya hace bastante tiempo. tiempo. Okay, any other volunteer? One, two. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Okay, let's continue with the class. Thank you so much. Now you are going to share with your classmates telling about your family. Let's see how many people are there in your family. Uh, who are these people? ¿Cuántas personas hay en su familia? Hay familias que un montón de familiares y hay otras que son pequeñas. Incluyendo a los tíos o solo los que viven en la casa. Uh, just the people who live in the house, right? If no, vamos a llegar a las 11 escuchando la lista. Es incorrecto. <laughs> there are extended family and there are nuclear family, right? So, and who are these people? ¿Quiénes son ellos? And you say, my wife, my son, my daughter, my aunt, my grandparents. My grandparents, so where do all your family live? My wife is Elisa, my son is Richard, and me. Okay, great. So, what is your family like? Como es su familia? Hay familiares que son contentos con uno, otros que no mucho, otros amables. Otros enojados. So what is your family like? And what do they do? ¿A qué se dedican? ¿Qué hacen? 
Antes de practicar con sus compañeros, les pedí a Lego que follow un example. Veamos el siguiente ejemplo. And I have this paragraph here. Let me tell you about my family. Any volunteer to read? Who wants to practice? Thank you, David. Uh, all the paragraph. Uh, uh, vamos a dividirlo, ok? Vamos a dividirlo. Okay. Let's divide it. Um, hasta acá. Spanish. Ok. Let me tell you about my family. I live with my mother, my father, and my big sister. We live in California. My mother's name is Marta. She's Spanish and she speaks English and Spanish. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer to continue the reading? Thank you, Moises. Hasta donde llego, o todo. No, I'm going to take off. Okay. Uh, she's a Spanish teacher. She's short and slim. She has long brown hair and brown eyes. My father's name is Jacob. Thank you. Now, Janelle, can you continue, please? Until music. Oh, my child. She's so little fat. She has short brown hair and blue eyes. She works in a bank. My sister Sara is 14 and she loves listening to music. Thank you. Sonia Rebecca, can you continue, please? Okay. Um, she listens to music all the time. She has brown hair and green eyes like me. I have long hair too. We have a pet dog, Brandy. He is black and white and very friendly. Okay, thank you so much. So let, listen, let me tell you all my family. I live with my mother, my father, and my big sister. That is the first information. Con quien vive? I live with my mother, my father, and my big sister. Lugar donde vive toda la familia. We live in California. Ahora, información de la mamá. My mother's name is Marta. She's a Spanish and she speaks English and Spanish. She's a Spanish teacher. ¿Qué hace su mamá? She's a Spanish teacher. Una pequeña descripción de su mamá. She's short and slim. She has long brown hair and brown eyes. Now, father. My father's name is Jacob. He's American. He's tall and little fat. He has short brown hair and blue eyes. He works in a bank. ¿A qué se dedica el papá? Then my sister, my sister Sara is 14 and she loves listening to music. She listens to music all the time. ¿Qué hace ella? She has brown hair and green eyes. Like me. Unas, describiéndola a ella, ¿verdad? Con algunos adjetivos. And I have long hair too. We have a pet dog, Brandy. He's black and white and very friendly. Describe hasta la mascota. Entonces, de esta manera, damos información de nuestra familia. Eh, ¿Con quién vive? Eh, ¿Cuáles son los nombres de los miembros de su familia? ¿Dónde viven? ¿A qué se dedican? Y una pequeña descripción física. En este ejemplo, le estoy al Phrases to talk about your family. I confront. Podemos empezar con esta frase. I confront a small or a big family. There are, then you say the number of people in your family. There are 10 people in my family. There are 12, 15, 20 people in my family. And then you start speaking. My mother, my father, my brother, sister name lives en el lugar donde viven. Y su ocupación. And also you can use phrases like I look like. I look like my dad. Mm, me parezco a mi padre. We both have blue eyes and curly hair. Tenemos esas características en común. Ojos azules y cabello colocho. Now, I'm very different from my mom. 
no me parezco a mi madre, soy diferente. She is talkative and doesn't like to wait for anything, but I'm very shy and patient. And then also you can mention some aspect about appearance and personality. So following this example, uh, can you tell your can you tell your classmate about your family? Siguiendo este ejemplo, podrían decirle a sus compañeros acerca de su familia. Antes de ir a los grupos, alguien le gustaría hacerlo acá. Who wants to start? Any volunteer? Who wants to try? Sí, puedes poner la pantalla anterior, por favor. This one? Yeah. Gracias. Ok. Bye. Siguiendo este ejemplo, ¿alguien le gustaría intentar? Tell me about your family. Any volunteer? Let's practice. Thank you, David. Thank you so much. Okay, um, about my family, um, we are nine people, mother, father, and seven children. <laughs> um, uh, my uh, older sister name is Ruth, and my younger sister is Priscilla. Um, Ruth is, uh, works like a teacher, and Priscilla works as an entrepreneur. She, uh, Priscilla is tall, she has brown eyes, and she likes to listen to music. Ruth, um, she, uh, she likes to go swimming and to go to the movies every weekend. She is short and she has um, black hair and black eyes. They are friendly. Excellent, David. Thank you so much. Do you have a pet? And yes, I have a pet and it's called Lassie. <laughs> it's a it's, dog. It's a dog. Okay, excellent. Then I have, thank you, David, excellent job. That was perfect, thank you. Then Isabella, do you have a question or do you want to try? Okay, con el ejemplo que está ahí va. Ya no me yeah. el ejemplo. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, let me tell about my family. I live with my mother and my father and my big brother. We live in El Salvador. In, in, in El Salvador and my mother her name is Anna Miriam and my father his name is Alexis Martinez and my brother his name is Walter and we, it's, we speak in Spanish and my mother she is a teacher and my brother she is a account account and my mother has a has a how do you say cabello Aruba. I, hair. Hair. I, I has a long hair and he, and has brown eyes and my brother has has bro has black hair and brown eyes um my mother she is 15 five years old um that's all okay that's it thank you so much that is that's it thank you thank you excellent description of your family thank you thank you so much so you are going to share this information with your classmate in the breakout room. So, así cada quien va a tener tiempo, ¿verdad? Para compartir acerca de su familia. We are going to have, let's see, eight minutes. Eight minutes to share the information with your classmate. Okay? Eight to ten minutes to share the information about your family with your classmate. So are you ready? You can yeah. follow this example. Yes. You can follow this example. So let's go to the breakout rooms. Give me a second. I'm going to send the invitation for you to join to the breakout rooms with your classmates. 
Excellent job, David and Isabella. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Hello, David. What happened? Do you have a problem? Teacher, I was taken out of the room. I was working with Eliana. Okay, let me see. I can't send you the same. So I'm going to send you with Josael and Oscar, okay? Is it okay? Okay. I'm going to no move Eliana. Okay, let's see number four. And I'm going to move Eliana with Isabel and Jessica. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, Fricción sería my family is my husband, my daughter and I he are nine and he pardon in Soya Tango, uh, San Salvador, El Salvador. My daughter look uh not like my husband and she is uh, 20, uh, sería 11, uh, 12, ¿cómo lo tengo que decir? 20, 12, 12, ¿verdad? 22, ajá, sí. 22 years old. No. She likes to drown and love and my my husband worked as supervisor and, and I died care of my daughter and I still solamente ok, entonces ahora sigue Esmeralda okay. let me tell you about my family I live with my mother and my father. have already answered that question. You, your wife, and your son. Ah, yeah. Ya lo habíamos contestado, sí. Yes. Pero digamos los nombres, pero tenemos una bloqueo de los parentes. El parentesco. Sí. Okay. 
where do, ¿qué, es, ¿qué significa where do are your family life? ¿Quiénes viven? ¿Quiénes son de tu familia alrededor? Allí donde estás. Hello, Josiah. Hello, Oscar. Hello, David. Did you finish? Hello. Hello. Teacher. No teacher. No It's in teacher. Okay, so you can follow the example right to complete this activity. So let me share you with you is this one. So you can start with this phrase. Let me tell you about my family. And then you can start speaking. The first I live with from Kian Vivo. So you say I live with my wife, with my daughter, with my son. And then we say we live in el lugar donde viven. Nosotros vivimos en. And so, my wife's name is, el nombre de mi esposa es, so she's Spanish, she speaks English and Spanish. She's a, a que se dedica. So she's a housewife, she's a teacher, she's a lawyer, she's a doctor, she's an engineer. So una pequeña descripción física de ella, she's short and slim, or she's beautiful, she's tall, she's She is cute. She has long black hair, for example, and brown eyes. Después su hijo, my son, or my, my daughter. It depends. Depende de con quién vino. Okay? Okay. Do you have any question? No, teacher. For me, no. no. Okay. Oh. Who wants to start? Who wants to start? Um, let me let me go about my family. I live with my wife, my son. I'm my son. Well, we live in Cuscatancingo. My wife' name is Elisa. She's Spanish. And speak English more or less. <laughs> she is a um, ama de casa is home low. Housewife. My wife is the the see I like she is um short and um, slim and delgada. Yes. Yeah, and it's slim. Um, brown hair, black, and brown, and brown, claro, como se dice? Light Clear. brown. Light, Light brown eyes. And my son is uh, Richard. Um, he is uh, Salvadorian. Salvadoreño. Uh, he is tall. Uh, uh, a brown eyes, light brown eyes. Uh, so high is colocho, ¿cómo se dice? Curly. He curly. Curly hair. Curly hair. Uh, he is a student. Um, he is a student. In, uh, I, he is like game gamers. <laughs> Me gusta jugar mucho. <laughs> okay. He likes he likes video game. He he likes video game. Uh, ahí estamos para darle tiempo okay. a los Okay, excellent. Thank you, Oscar. He likes he likes video games. He likes video games. And okay. ojos, ojos, eyes, 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 eyes. He has light brown eyes. Light brown eyes. Oh, and she's Salvadorian. She is Salvadorian. Uh, he is Salvadorian. Okay. He, he is. He, uh, he, he is. Ella es. He is Salvadorian. Uh, Okay, thank you. Thank okay. you so much. Okay, excellent job. It was a very good job. Uh, who wants to continue? 
Okay. Let me tell you about my family. I live with my mother, my father, and my sisters. We live in Awachapan City. My mother's my mother's name is Teresa. She is speaking Spanish. Uh, uh, she's um Hong 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 Como se dice ama de casa? Housewife. Homewife. Homewife. House. Is very Homewife. Uh, it is is very is very short. O como se dice cort chiquita little. Short. Pequeña. Fairly short. It's fairly short. A fairly short. It is very friendly. And my, and my father is this, is the, she is, she is, is the, she is a star, he very, very, very thin. He, I, you work, you work in the, in the camp, in the mountain. How do you say sembra, siem, sembra. Plan, he plan. Uh, you, you plant, you plant. Sería uh, he. Tree. He. Ah, he, verdad. He, mm -hmm. he plant uh, tree, coffee tree, coffee tree, coffee tree, and corns, and beans. And others plants. Okay. Uh, my, uh -huh. okay, my sister, that. my sister is, and uh, so south, south south the my side south by my grandmother, side my grandmother. ¿Cómo se dice mm. que cuida mi abuela? Take care, take care of my grandmother. Uh, take care of my mother. My grandmother. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent job. I'll do have... that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Okay, David, are you meeting? Yeah, um before you join the, the room, we are we were practicing, so I said some information about me. So okay, so. okay, great. So I'm gonna finish this activity. Thank you so much. Excellent job. David, Josael, and Oscar. Very good job. Thank you so much. Hello everybody, welcome again. How was your practice? Did you enjoy practicing with your classmates? Yes. Yes, okay, great. So let's wait for your classmates. They are still coming. Uh, Rebecca, were you working with Jessica and Claudia? Yes. Yes, yes. okay. What is Rebecca's mother's name? What is Rebecca's mother's name? Do you remember?
Hello, Janelle. Hello, Ileana. Hello, Moises. Denise, welcome again. How was your practice? That's great. Okay, great. So, Denise, so, ¿con quién trabajó, Denise? Who were you working with? I'm working with um, Jonel Hernandez and Moises Antonio. Okay, Denise, what is Jonel mother's name? Uh, I don't have idea. <laughs> you don't remember that? No, my family is on two persons. I live ah. with my, my partner. She living with, with only your father. Ah, okay. Okay, great. That's great then. Okay, do you have any question about tonight's class? No question? No. No. Oh. no. No, okay, and don't forget, please, uh, to finish the section number four, right? That is the word for this week. Ya todos terminamos esta sección, yes? Yes. Yes, yes. No yes. Yeah. Okay, Oscar says yes, my says yes, Denise, yes. Great, so you can already start with section number five and the final exam, right? We are going to finish this course next Friday. We are going to have classes next Friday because of the holiday. Right? And November the 2nd is a holiday and we're going to have a day off that day. So we are going to finish on Friday. Para la última clase del viernes ya tiene que estar terminado todo en su plataforma, ¿verdad? Sección 1, 2, 3, 4 y 5 y el examen final también. Antes de esta clase todo debe de estar terminado, ¿ok? Eh, Creo que hasta también. ahora llega también el día para inscribirnos para el otro módulo. Eh, ah, pero sí. decía que para la inscripción de la plata, del, de la guía 5, no sé si aquí ya no sé, pero podía estar hasta el 50%. Sí, así es. Pero ya mañana sí tiene que estar terminada a las 5. Eso era para cuestión de inscribirse, ¿verdad? En el ah, final. bye. Ok. Ok. Bueno. Entonces, ese sería su trabajo, ¿verdad? Que terminen la sección 4 si les hace falta y empezar, ¿verdad? La sección 5 y el examen final para que cuando llegue la última clase todo esté terminado. Traten de no dejar la plataforma, ningún ejercicio sin resolver. Que su plataforma quede al 100%, ¿ok? Yes, so, ok. Si es fecha del 1 y 2 de noviembre, no tenemos clase, solo el 2. 2, nada más el 2. Vamos a descansar okay. el 2. Pero quiere vamos a puente. Tener <ríe> quiere puente. Solo el 2 no nos vamos a presentar, pero sí vamos a ir el viernes, te imagino. Para Así reponer es. el 2. Para reponer el 2 vamos a tener clase el próximo viernes. Ese okay. sería el trabajo okay. para la próxima semana. Enjoy your weekend. Rest a lot. And spend time with your family. Watch movies. Listen to music. Bye bye, okay. teacher. Good bye bye. Bye bye, bye, bye. Good bye night, teacher. Bye bye. Good night. See you on Monday, guys. Bye bye. Bye.